Hey geeks, welcome to the TG2M Conversation. I'm Casey Austin. How are you guys doing? Okay, so I'm not big on focusing on whether or not someone has a college degree or not, because I believe that we all can learn from anywhere and anyone. However, if anyone asks me about mine, I let them know that I have a degree in social psychology. So technically, I'm a social psychologist. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some socially psychological hacks that you can use in any in any situation. Um, and I also want to say that I'm so passionate about learning how, you know, psychology and how society, uh, how it affects us in everyday life and we don't even realize it. So I'm going to share nine psychological hacks with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one. So when you first meet someone, take a few seconds to look at their eye color. Don't take, don't stare too long, but it signals interest and they should respond in a positive way. Number two, if you approach two people that are in a conversation, after about one minute, take a look at their feet. And if their upper body, the torso, if it's pointed towards you, but their feet are pointed either straight forward or away from you, they don't really want you to join the conversation. This also works for if you've been talking to someone for a while. If their feet are pointed away from you, they want the conversation to end. So number three is, if you're talking to someone and they partially give you an answer to something that you ask them, wait a while, just be patient. You'll usually get the rest of the answer. That's a normal person, okay? Now, here's a little bonus to that. If you've been with someone for a while, if you're, if you're very patient, you will get the answer during the lifetime of your uh, relationship. And because there's a thing called the urge to confess, and everyone has this urge where they want to share with you something that they initially didn't want to share. So that's number three. Number four, chew gum when you're approaching situations or activities that make you nervous or anxious because it'll trip your brain and your brain will tell itself that if you were in danger, you wouldn't be eating. So it usually calms you down. I love that one. Number five, interviews. When you go on an interview, pretend that everyone in the interview is an old friend and you're just catching up. This also works for networking events as well. I like that one. Number six, before you shake someone's hand, warm your hands up like this. Just kind of do like that and warm it up because when someone shakes someone's hands that are warm it makes you more desirable to them so that's number six number seven is when you're studying something new take the time out and ask a friend if you can teach them what you just learned because if you can teach it that means you understood the material number eight Number eight is one of my favorite. Okay, so when you wake up in the morning, as soon as you hear your alarm, jump up. Your reaction should be to jump up. Jump up and go, yeah, and do that. After you say, yeah, you can also, for more motivation, you can also go, what? What you're doing is you are, you're psych psyching yourself out. You know, it's like you're telling the world, you know, yeah, I got this. Now what? So that's one of my favorites and yes, I do do it, guys. <laughs> so, okay. And then the ninth one is when you're walking on the sidewalk, you know how like you're walking and like everyone does that sidewalk shuffle when you see someone coming towards you. When you're walking on the sidewalk, look above the heads of people that are coming towards you because what it's gonna do is your gaze is gonna let them know that you need to pass. So they're either gonna split open for you or they're just gonna, if it's one person or whatever, they'll move over. So uh, those were my nine psychological hacks to get you through some of your little, life's little, you know, um, life's little tiffs, <laughs> life's little whatevers. Um, and um, so I am Casey Austin from the TG2M Conversation. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.